Chapter 8 of True Stories of Wonderful Deeds, Stories for Little Folk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ginger Cucolo. David Livingston. At one time many people believed that the middle of Africa was a sandy desert, where nothing could live but camels and ostriches but they were mistaken. The great traveler, David Livingston, journeyed into this unknown country, and he found that it was not a desert, but a beautiful land, where many tribes of black people dwelt. He also saw that these people were often seized by strangers, and taken away to be sold as slaves. This sight filled him with sadness, and he made up his mind to put a stop to this cruel traffic. He worked hard, tracing the course of the rivers, finding the best tracts of land, and teaching the natives. Then he urged his countrymen to send others after him to settle in this fair country, to help the natives to learn useful trades, and to drive away the slave merchants. For some years he was quite alone, with his black servants, in the midst of this wild land. His friends grew anxious, and sent Mr. Stanley, another great traveler, to look for him. Stanley marched for nearly a year before he found Livingston. The old explorer was white and worn with sickness and hardship, and he was overjoyed to clasp once more the hand of a white man and to hear again the English tongue. But he would not return to England. He said his work was not yet done, and he set out once more on his travels. It was his last journey. One morning his servants found him dead upon his bed. Since that time much has been done to make Central Africa a prosperous land. Other white men have followed where Livingston led, and wherever they have settled, the wicked slave trade has been stopped. End of David Livingston Recording by Ginger Cucolope